there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. My wife, Jen, and I run the largest lost in transit Aww. auction in the country. Sold. If you've lost it, chances are we've sold it. Fetish, bondage, sex toys, whatever you're into. We get thousands of items every week from shipping companies, trucking, trains, planes, and buses. Woo. That's got to go to the police. You never know what's going to show up in the loading dock. And I'm knocking it down. Depends what you pay. The hell is that? It's a slave girl costume. Oh. Whoa. Today is my day. I'm making money. You're gonna make me later. Cash, moolah, bread, green, lettuce. It's all good. Fuzzy. If you need something, you tell me. I'll find it for you. Do you still need that uh, 36 volt uh, forklift uh, battery? Yeah, I got one. Good price. We're here to find that thing that's valuable that no one else knows is in the auction. Five more minutes. Really, we're gonna be late. Believe me, it'll be worth it. I like to dress to the nine, even if it's an auction. That's just me. I love me. What do you think? Perfect. Nice. Very nice. It's showtime. Doors are open, people are streaming in. Did you have questions, sir? If there's one thing I want, it's to pry every last dollar out of their wallets before they leave. Jen and I have been running 403 Auction for seven years. We have shipments arrive almost every day, and they come from all over the place. Anything can end up at Lost in Transit auction, but the beauty of it, doesn't matter what it is, is that somebody wanted it. You know, it, it was lost in transit. It was going from point A to point B. So somebody wanted it, which means someone else will want it too. You know, you just never know. If these aren't sterling, then so it might be worth five bucks. I'm looking for hidden gems. When you know you see it and no one else can see it, you know, that's a lot of fun. It's actually platinum. Yeah. We're looking around, there's tons of great items today. It's a treasure box. Pretty heavy. That's sealed. Mm. There's money to be made here, but you gotta buy it at the right price. I don't know, that's questionable. It's got too much damage for me. John, he'll run that for sure. It's a nice looking baritone. A lot of character to that. There's some suitcases in here that I'm gonna be bidding on. There's a few things I know Robbie's gonna like that I'm just gonna jump on him for. Have a good night, bud. Watch your back, John. Whoa, look at this thing. Put a big walk here. Too dirty. Probably something Lou would want. Lou's a wild card. You never know what he's going to be bidding on. You just hope that it's not one of your items. I may give Robbie a hard time with this because I know he'd like this. Just a few things before we get started. First of all, everything is sold as is. All right, once we say sold, it's sold. From and bidding uh, wars to fist fights, when you get a couple hundred people enclosed in a small space, anything can happen. All right, here we go. Here Welcome to the mama. jungle. All right, mama, how about you? You've got the 110 here, mama, the 120, I'm the 110, 120, all done. Woo. Sold 110. She got bag number six. Good weight to it on this bag here. If you're traveling with a bag and it gets misplaced, it could end up here. You never know what you're gonna get with baggage. Dirty underwear or score. Here we go, 50, 75, $100 now. I got 75 with there, mama 100 with here, mama 125, 150, 175. Who is this guy in the wheelchair? Who is this guy? Where'd he come from? Never seen him before. He's a newbie. He's a noob. Now 225, 250, 275, 275. This guy's pissing me off. And he's running the baggage, quite frankly, way too high. I'm at a 350 now, 325 and 350. Sold, 325, number 41. Wait. Now that, that is a big risk. I absolutely can't stand the general public. They get in the way. You're nuts. I can't believe he spent that much money on that bag. I can't believe it. You got the uh, official sterling silver proofs of the world's greatest stamps. Yeah, I don't see them worth more than two, three million dollars, so. We have no interest in those stamps. For us, they look like something you could buy late at night on television. I think three are missing in the entire set. 
I don't think that they're collectible, but they may have some melting value. I want these stamps, but I know it's right up Lou's alley, and he's going to be tough. 75, 50, up to 25 now. 25 and 30 and 35 and 40 and 45 and 50 and 60 and 70 and 80 and 90 and 100 dollars. Johnny's bidding me up on these stamps. He doesn't even buy this kind of thing. Silver's 35 bucks an ounce. 180. How many ounces are there? 210, 210, 220, 230, 240, 240, 250. I'm not backing down for this one until I get these stamps. 325, 350, 350 material bottle of anybody else. Who can have these stamps? Probably garbage anyway. Sold $350, number 91. We can make fillings for your teeth there or what? Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna melt these down, baby. Okay, here we go. We got the uh, the little toy chest. Fetish, bondage, uh, sex toys, whatever you're into. Whoever likes kinky is gonna be all over this. You want to take a chance? Yeah. If there's one thing I know, sex sells. Hours of fun here. Hey, Mama, how much here now? 25 and 30. Get up 35, 50, 60, 70. We have a, a specific number we want to go on it. And all of a sudden, John and Lou start bidding on it. So that number went out the window. 110. Got to be 120, Lou. 120. Now 130. 130. We've got big plans for that fun. I've seen Robbie and Kathy buy a lot of sex stuff. Hey. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, but I'm out of this. 160 out of 170, 170 to here now, 180. 180 when I see Robbie throwing money around, I just bid him up. 210, 220. Do you want to go again? I did my job. Watch your back, John. Payback is a and John is my Boom, 220, Rob gets number 41. Thank you. There better be something really sweet inside this box, so can't wait to crack it open. Hey, we got the big gas burner here for a restaurant. The walk is awesome. A double burner walk. Obviously not new. Restaurants and food is my specialty. I have a few people who would love that. On the restaurant burner, yep, new interest. I have about 50, 50, 60. I got 60 bid with you, now. They call me Pistola because when I'm bidding, I'm just quick. Yeah. Oh, seven. Oh, too late. I said it. Sold $70. Fast. The pistol. I got this thing for nothing. I stole it. Nobody even knows what it is. Bag number eight. Nice little carry-on. Expensive bag. This red suitcase is high-end quality. It's loaded with hard goods, and I want it. Come on, I want to have much here now. $100 now. I'm going to 50, 75, now 100. I'm going to 125, now 150, 175. Baggages went crazy Baggage tonight. Baggages crazy. Usually bags you can get for 150 bucks. Now two, two bit out of two and a quarter now. Anybody else now? Sold number seven, seven. You paid two and a quarter for that? These are the ones you want to carry on. It's a high-end bag and I have a gut feeling. And my gut feelings are usually right. What the hell is that? Moment of truth. The hell is that? Wall hangings? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Children's toys, brushes, curlers, nothing. It's a carry-on. It should be loaded with good sh Like, I really need that. <laughs> Red bag. <laughs> no more baggage for me. Maybe we should sell this one by the pound. All right, you got this big bag. As quick as people lose their bags, we get them. Good quality bag, but it is loaded. Everybody goes after bags. Shoppers, dealers, little old ladies. They want to roll the dice, and hopefully they get paid off. Well, not a bad bag, so not cheap. I'll try it. 140, 140, 150, 160, but here, I'm going to 170, I'm going to 170, I'm going to 180, 190. 200, 210, 210. 220 to 30. 220. I don't know if the bidding war started because I was in on the bag or because that guy really wanted that bag, which I can't imagine. Maybe it was his bag. I don't know. Now I don't care. I'm getting this bag no matter what. I don't care what it costs. Now I'm going to show you who's boss. I'm getting that bag. I don't give a shit if it's yours. I'm buying it from you. I'm taking it out from underneath you. 330, 340. Sold. $330, number 91. I wasn't going to lose it. Didn't care how high it went. 
Okay, you got a 2007 Liberty Platinum a mint from... Uh, He's gonna talk this up the until the point where everybody's gonna just be salivating. Shut up, Jamie. Seriously, shut up, Jamie. We don't see platinum here very often. I'm always the big winner. That's what kills these dealers, is that I make money off of everything they buy. 120 now, uh, 130 now, 140. 140, but here, my one 150, 160. Fast, he wants it, doesn't he? I think so. 170, Rob, 180. 180, but here, my one 190. Sold, $190, number 41. You want to run with the bull, sometimes you're going to hit the horns. Okay, you got the nice uh, baritone on the baritone. Try it. The baritone has way too much damage. It's only worth what it's worth in metal, which is about a hundred bucks. All right, all right, I'm warming up here. I'm warming up. We don't have, we don't have time. The baritone can easily hit two, maybe three thousand dollars. It's an expensive instrument. I'm going in. Let's sell it now. Hundred dollars. Hundred and ten. Here, model one twenty, one thirty, one forty, Johnny, 150, I got one fifty. Have it one sixty. I got to pick something. One eighty. One eighty. One eighty. Now one ninety and two hundred dollars down. John is so serious. The guy is like so anal. So you want to mess him up? Three hundred dollars here. Three twenty-five. Three fifty. Three seventy-five now. Three fifty. Here, model three seventy-five. You gonna do it? 350 there, number 77. Seven. Goodbye, goodbye. Thank God I didn't win that thing. Would I be fair to say that's a $350 boat anchor? You could say whatever you want. Oh, I just did. This is a steal. I'll easily triple my money on this. Johnny, nice baritone. You like it? Yeah. One of the nicest ones I've seen. I don't understand why anyone would want a baritone. Like, who do you sell a baritone? What band has a baritone? Give me one. Hi, 41. Hopefully we can triple our money, but for sure we'll double. There was a few things that I know some of my customers would want and I could make money on. It was a good night. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna turn this. Did not break the walk. See you next week. I feel great, I came out on top. I paid $350 for this. I have to go get this appraised. Luggage weighs a ton. It was a great auction. It was a well, great auction. Here we go. Platinum uh, um, US dime paid 190, but okay. still get 300. Okay. okay, what'd you pay for this? 325. Oh my lord. Lost baggage is like gambling. Nothing, 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 nothing. Donate, nothing, donate. Nothing. Nothing. Check the pockets. You could crash and burn. Nothing. Okay. Or you can make a killing. Thank God. What do you got? Hair growth products. Tons of it. This means nothing to me. This means a lot. Probably 20 bucks a piece. That's 400. And then you got these simulated grow cream. That's a thousand dollars. No way. Yes. Thank God for a bald man. Sweet baby Jesus. Awesome, babe. This is the best piece of the night. I don't know. For me, it is. I'm scared. Just open it. Uh. Why do you want to touch this? And it looks used. That looks disgusting. It looks like stuff for a horse. <laughs> this says slut. What does yours oh, say? <laughs> nothing. No, no. I get to do that. We don't know the value of the bondage stuff, so we're going to take it to an expert. We paid two hundred and twenty dollars. I'd there's like no to make way. my money back. No way. No. No. There's no way. I'm opening up a pawn shop, and it's going to be the coolest pawn shop in town. Just, uh, I'm going to go on the other side. I'm doing a lot of shopping right now just to fill the shelves, and there was good scores at the auction. I have a good feeling about that bag but just don't know. Ah, oh, yeah, right on. Okay. This looks like a bunch of junk. 330 bucks for a bag of dirty underwear. This is a bunch of junk, but it's the risk I take for playing the game. Ow!
Come here. Nice double burner walk. Do you have somebody to sell it to? Yeah. You know, I try and get 500 and we'll see where it goes. You know? My friend Al's running the pawn shop. He's a great organizer and I'm not. So it's going to work out really well. And he knows his stuff. Do so you want to get the guys and go? Yeah, sure. Then get this thing out of here. Oh, wow. Then when you come back, I got this nice silver set I bought. We'll see. Yeah. He <laughs> doesn't trust me anymore. Very man. Keep showing him this stuff. I'm a rock and roll kind of guy. Hi, Ted. So I'm taking the baritone to a guy I know who specializes in brass instruments. Seems to be in good shape. Um, all the slides seem to move fine. Those could be costly repairs if those were seized. So far, we're doing OK, then. Yes, the valves all work. I'm going to make some large money on this baritone. Yeah, it plays, it plays quite well. It is, in fact, a tuba, however, not a baritone. Tuba. It's a tuba. It's not a baritone. It's a tuba. The f And I can top of the size of it, it's a tuba pitched in E flat. I picked this up at an auction for $350. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know what it's worth. I picked this up at an auction for $350. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know what it's worth. If this horn were in mint condition, I would say around $1,500. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe Ted will buy it. Is it close to mint? No, it's, it's, <laughs> Not had, even, it's eh? had obvious repairs done. You could probably get $500. $500? I would think. 500 bucks? I was hoping for two, 3000 If this were a bull-sized B-flat tuba, those tubas sell for $10,000. $10,000? I'm pissed. If it was one step up, I could have been looking at $10,000. Uh -huh. <laughs> Way to take care of them, buddy. Tell me something good. I don't know anything about these stamps. They may be collectors. I'll have Al take a look at them. He knows his stuff, so he'll be able to figure this out. Really, really nice. Is it something good? Depends what you paid. Paid three fifty. It's all right for melt, but we don't want to melt these, man. No? Too nice. No, 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 no way. I don't think it's a full set, Al. I just want to melt it. If you want to melt all that, what do we got? About forty-five pieces. All right. We got a little processing. It's gonna be about 560 bucks. We are. We won. <laughs> you don't want to melt it, though, man. We won. We don't want to melt it. We don't want to melt it. No. Why not? It's got too much historical significance. They didn't make very much of this. This is actually the first set that was ever produced by the International Society of Postmasters. And what they did was they took these proofs and they minted them, obviously. I made it for the money. I don't care if it's collectible. Give me the money. Tell me. Tell me. 19. Tell me. 77, no, they just, released this. Listen, man, you got, look, you... Al, quit your yapping. Tell me what it's worth. Look, this was a complete collection. It'd be worth a lot of money, 15, 16, dollars As it stands right now, I think we can break up the set, yeah. and I can flip them for 30 bucks each. $1,400 in total. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Knock for entry. We don't know the value of the bondage stuff, so we're going to take it to a fetish expert. I've never been to a fetish shop before. It makes me very nervous. Some of it looked fun. So we bought this seal and we opened it. We found that it was full of bondage. So Kinky stuff. I thought we'd lost a, a boatload of money, but you never know until you get things checked out. Toys. It looks to me like it's some kind of uh, penis pump for a guy. It's not in the original box. Zero. Unfortunately. Well, I have a friend at the auction, John, that he probably needs this, so I'll just give it to him. This toy, it is in the packaging. That's probably 100 bucks. This is an icy made bull whip. Probably about $200. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, this one will kind of gross me out. This ball has obviously been yeah. well worn, well used. You don't want oh. that. You just chuck that in the garbage. Just threw up in my mouth. So it does open up. And you can buy these balls separately. How much is a ball? To get a nice one, taste nice, body friendly, something you can have in your mouth for a long time, $20. Yeah, and the rest of it's good. Probably a 100 bucks with a ball. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> We're going to make lots of money on this. The dress, 80. Stockings, around 40. Have the two paddles, 60. And this one, because it's used, the 30. This is a really nice piece, 120. Cha-ching. Strap on holder, adjustable, 80. Strap on. Oh, so it's not for me. Bang, chicka, wow, wow. Slave girl bra. Slave girl bra. Yeah, 
slave girl bra. $70. She is one heck of a knowledgeable gal. It's a slave girl costume. Cute. How much is it worth? I think about 120. Oh my God. <laughs> that is fantastic. There I had go. no idea there was such value. In and bondage? Not... Yeah, we just need a new ball and we're good to go. How'd you do last week? Uh, it was a bad week. It was a bad week. How did you do? I did good, man. Yeah. My bag wasn't that hot, but silver was good. What'd you do with the silver? No. Uh, <laughs> really? Come on. Well, that treasure chest we turned out three. to be full of S and M stuff. Are you selling any of it? <laughs> we are always the big winner. I'm gonna lock you in the cage. How's it going, babe? Are these supposed to be that tight? If they feel like they're too tight, that's the right fit. Inside. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice butt. Fuck <laughs> And that's it. That's all I can get.